Hi there, this is Ross at Woodfire Power, and this is another video giving you some answers to some questions posted on uh, the first video about the nutrient, new experimental nutrient film technology system. So, first question was, how do I put the babies in? Well, yes, it, they just go in on the same coconut coir vermiculite 50-50 mix that I showed how to make in my other videos, although it helps to have the roots wet so that they go down inside. And then they're just sitting there. Hopefully you can see that. And then what happens is the roots grow up stream and downstream as the plant matures. So let me show you how the whole rack gets transplanted. Um, basically what I do is I pick a flat of plants that I want to transplant and I check to make sure their roots are long enough that they're going to go in. I just want them maybe six inches long or something. Bigger better to a point. And then let me get the camera aimed. I have to do this all myself. Right, so there's that. Okay. So what I do is I take the plants out with the neck cups on, but I don't want the neck cups in here. I just remove the neck cups and I don't want to tear the roots off, so that's why it's important to do it. When the plant has roots so that it can plug in, but not so many roots that it's grabbed onto the neck cup and won't let go. To facilitate it letting go, I just dunk the entire plant under water and the neck cup comes off real easily. And so the process of removing and transplanting the plants is rather quick. I'll do this as fast as I can. It takes me too much time to do editing of videos, so it's faster if I just do it and then you see the reality of how long it takes to do something in the greenhouse rather than a sped up version and you can hit fast forward if you don't like it. Someone also asked what the um, hole diameter is, and what I put in these is inch and three quarters. <clears throat> Alright, so there's the whole pipe loaded. Now I can stick it up somewhere. The semicircle cut is on that end, so that end goes downhill. And I'll just stick this up here, and then that plugs in there, and it's exactly that hard. So to take it down, there it is, and put it up, there it is. That's what I like about that key system, is that you just put it up on the 2x6 to hold the weight, and then... Um, 
the key holds the weight on the other end. Now on this end you need to plug in some water and that's what the hole is up on the end. And so once you've plugged the water in and the things in, it's done. It's ready to go and it'll sit like that growing for two weeks or three weeks as the plants fully mature to market size and then you pull it down and take the plants out, wash them and package them. So to recap, um, yes, the plants are sitting on the, the same media that I showed you how to make in the mix and that's why it's nice to use the 98 cell flats because the chunk of vermiculite and coconut coir that's in there with the roots is big enough to support the plants both in the net cups in the deep water systems but also in the um, nutrient film pipes. Second, I cut the holes at inch and three quarter, inch and a half would probably work but what will happen is the leaves, if the plant's too small when you transplant it and some base leaves get down inside the pipe, they try to grow out inside the pipe. So you want to grow the babies in high density rafts until they're large enough that the bottommost leaves are for sure going to reach up and out of the hole. That way the whole plant comes up out of the hole. And um, that's about it. The only thing that's not working super great is the quarter inch drip line plugging over the emitter. It'd be better if it went into the grommet like I mentioned in the other video. Um, American Hydroponics sells grommets and hardware stores sell grommets. That way you would have the entire idea of the tube and it wouldn't plug up. But unplugging the tube has been really easy to do also. Um, but that said, I don't want to do anything that adds labor. The other thing that would be nice is to have a square pipe instead of a round pipe. It gives a flatter, larger surface area for the roots to lay down into, and that's what the professional gutter systems are, but don't use a gutter from the hardware store because those are some yucky plastic. Um, the professional places will have polyethylene or polypropylene or um, a food grade plastic like that. So that's it. Um, there's how to plug in and unplug uh, the pipes and put the plants in on the nutrient film. So this Ross have a great week. Wood Fire Power is the channel.